Good morning, everybody. It's really encouraging to see so many people here. Uh, I was once in a bar in Germany, and I heard a group of people speaking French, and I could tell that one of them was from Wigan by his accent. <laughs> so I guess a number of you can tell I'm from Lancashire by my accent, which I am. But I'm 68 years old. I have spent at least half of my life living overseas, and the majority of my adult life living overseas. Uh, I've been more or less based in the United Kingdom since about 97. I missed the entire Thatcher period. <laughs> I, in that time, I have been, for quite a number of years, the secretary of our local environment and heritage network. I've been secretary of our community empowerment networks, for those of you who know what they mean, and one still survives. I've been a community representative on the local strategic partnership. I've been a trustee on a national uh, community development charity. I was a co-founder of the Northwest Community Activist Network. I'm a co-founder and administrator for the National Community Activist Network. So my time has been principally uh, involved in community activism. I'm not an intellectual. I tend not to theorise. I'm not capable of theorising or working out why things happen. But when I'm convinced that something needs to be done, my capacity is to be able to get it done. I don't get lost in a labyrinth of hypothesis. I try to make things happen, which is why I'm here today. Now then... Round about 2007, when the financial crisis started to develop, a guy whose intelligence I really respect, though he's a sort of wonderful English eccentric, rather like the professor in Back to the Future, one of those sort of people, you know, he said to me, Joe, who do we owe this money to? No, I'm not, or I didn't consider myself to be too ignorant in things economic. I'm the product of a grammar school education. I've got my A-level in economics. But in that moment, I realised I couldn't explain simply what money is. And if you can't explain things simply, you don't understand them. So having slept on it a, a few days, I thought, I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. It's something I need to know, this. So I started asking people whose intelligence I do respect, and one of them recommended I read a book called Web of Debt by Ellen Brown. So partially me and Ben have got a parallel story there. And once I read that book, everything slotted into place. All these years I've been trying to solve problems. Now I realise where the problem came from. But try to tell that to somebody else, it's like trying to describe Chopin to somebody who never know, who, who's never seen a piano, you know. So as I started talking to my friends about money and where it comes from and where the power of the financial sector comes from, it was difficult. And then a couple of years later, boom, on Twitter, I found out about positive money. And I thought, ha-ha, here's somebody who knows what's going on. That's where the pennies, you know, the pennies dropped here. So from that moment on, I've been a real supporter. I'm an avid supporter of positive money. It's why I'm here today. I'm here to support positive money in any way possible. Thank you. <laughs> 